you ever get like you ever got like that itchy nostril? Oh, fuck, I don't wanna itch it, that's gross. What's going on guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a serious video. If you guys were expecting a normal vlog or a wrenching video, I apologize, but that's not gonna be this video today. I wanted to give you guys a life update because there's a lot of things that are happening in my life right now that are affecting my work life, my personal life, and in general, I feel like I need to be transparent with you guys. As you guys know, I have this shop and I also have Eve and I have moved into this warehouse so that I can wrench on all my cars and make some great content for you guys. But unfortunately, the reason why I got this shop was not because I didn't build a good garage at home, I think my garage at home came out amazing and I was so looking forward to wrenching in there and making it such a great spot. Uh, but unfortunately, me and Cody decided to part ways and I know I've been getting asked that question so many times, but I couldn't find it in myself to publicize it and tell anyone about it. If you guys don't know, Cody was my boyfriend and we were together for almost three and a half years. And um, before I continue saying anything else, I just want you guys to know that in no way, shape, or form did anyone cheat on anybody or uh, any of us did anything to hurt each other. Uh, this was more of a situation of us growing apart and we spent some beautiful years together and we're just not it, you know? If you guys know me personally, you know I could be a little bit too much sometimes. I'm very loud, I'm very, uh, I'm like the pure definition of an extrovert. I'm always out and about and I am just there, you know? And Cody is more of a laid back, relaxed, you know, he, he is the opposite of what I am, but somehow that relationship worked for the time that it did until it didn't. I just wanna say that it's, it's not anything that we did. It's literally outgrowing each other and I am so tired of hiding the truth from you guys and to my family and to everyone that just keeps asking me and I keep ignoring it. Um, it hasn't been easy and it hasn't been something that I've taken lightly. Uh, we've been dealing with this for about a year now. Um, and when I say dealing, I mean, well, we bought a house together and we are kind of stuck with it until we sell it. And um, although it's on the market now, it's still, it's still something that I wish I could have just picked up and, and left, you know, like it wasn't one of those situations where I could just leave. Um, I was kind of stuck living in the house with him and he was stuck living in the house with me. And although we do a great job at like coexisting together, it's still pretty difficult to be living with your ex-boyfriend. So I never really wanted to talk about it until we got closer to selling the house and we're, we're up to that point and I felt like I needed to share it with everybody. Um, I don't know, I am... For the year that's passed by, um, I did everything that I needed to do to prepare myself to leave. And I'm so grateful that I have this shop now because one of my biggest concerns was having a place to store all my cars. And I knew this was eventually going to happen, but I was hoping that I would have gotten a shop maybe when I was more uh, further into my career on YouTube, maybe like 100K or 150K. Um, and I had to have invest so much money into having a place like this. Do I regret this? No, I don't regret it. I'm just saying that it would have been nice to have been finished. I'm just saying that it would have been nice to finish wrenching in my own garage and grew my channel from there and then finally bought a shop. Just like every other YouTuber has done. And um, unfortunately, that's not something that I can do. The market right now is super crazy and buying a house is honestly not even a choice right now. As much as I would like to have a house, I can't have a house because 
you know, a property that was 250K here in Jersey is now 400, 500K for the same exact house. And I just think it's ridiculous what COVID has done to this country that has done to everything. I'm not a political person in any way, shape or form, but I see the changes that COVID did, not only to the housing market, but like in general, everything is going up. Gas prices are going up. There's so much going on and it's getting really difficult to be able to have a comfortable living here in the east coast at least where i'm at in new jersey so um i got the shop and i'm able to have my cars stored away and work out of so i can continue making these videos i am going to be moving out of that house pretty soon and you guys will no longer see any videos of me being in my house garage instead all the content will always come from here and I just want to say that I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to finish my garage rebuild. Um, I know I did the drywall, I spent the money on like painting and it was... It was something that I was looking forward to doing and finishing and um, wishing that I could have that start up. You know, like, oh, I started in my house garage when in reality I started on the streets of Staten Island and <laughs> working on my car and then getting the house and having that garage and then now this. I'm not someone that's comfortable sharing my feelings. I'm actually a pretty hard person to tap into when it comes to that. I realize that my personality isn't for everybody. I'm loud, I am always running around, I'm busy. I don't even have time for myself, you know? I feel like I don't have time for myself anymore and I've been struggling so much with my eating, I have been doing my personal training. I'm trying to cut off drinking alcohol. I'm trying to cut off eating meat. I'm trying to work out four or five times out of the week and then also handle the shop, also take care of my dog. And on top of that, just like make sure everything is okay. Uh, my mom currently is in the Dominican Republic because she is sick. And, and it's just so much going on that I hate to be the person to step onto YouTube and share all these problems with you guys, but I felt like I always need to be transparent and share when things go bad. And that is what I'm doing. So yeah. The reason why I did this video is so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what I've been going through lately and how long I've been dealing with this separation and how long it's been dragged because we own a house together. So if you are one of those people who keep asking me about what was going on, like where is he, why is he not on your stories anymore, why isn't he in the videos, where's the forester, it's because he's no longer in my life. And um, I wish nothing but the best for him and I am so thankful that he's supported me in everything that I've done. Um, when it comes to the modeling, when it comes to, uh, when it came to working at the bar when I had it, um, coming home late at night from working, or just in general keeping up with my YouTube life and going to car shows and being bombarded by people, like, I'm so grateful that I was able to find somebody that helped me grow as a person and also made me realize that I need to keep pushing myself in order to in order to make it in life. There are so many things that I wish I can say right now, but uh, unfortunately they're a little bit too personal and I feel like I've already said enough. Um, I can't wait to continue making great content with the 350Z and hopefully share my new adventures um, in wherever I choose to live now. Uh, I will stay in New Jersey for the next year and a half, the least for this place is till uh, March of 2023 and um, I can decide if I want to stay again or if I want to move out of this shop and I won't know until that time comes but I will be here for another year and a half and that will be another year and a half of great projects, great builds that will come out of this shop. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm scared. I am alone here in New Jersey. I don't have family here. Um, my dad doesn't exist and my mom, it lives all the way in Queens, New York. Um, I don't have anybody here other than just friends. And it scares me a lot because I'm gonna be by myself. 
and it's something that I haven't done for the past four years of my life. So I don't know what it's like to be alone. Um, I can imagine that some things will be great coming out of that, um, but I can imagine that I will be a little bit lonely. So um, just please bear with me if I'm ever in a mood in one of my videos or if I'm just overall not posting as often as everyone would like me to in the next couple of months because there's so many things that are just happening and I hate to disappoint you guys. I, I hate to disappoint you guys. And I feel like I've consistently been having to explain that I'm sorry. Um, and there's been a, a drop in videos lately and it's because of all of this, because I can't concentrate and it's just so much. It's too much. I hate to make such a sad video, but I feel like this is something that needed to be said. And I told myself the day that I broadcast it to my social media would be the day that I know that this is real, like this is happening. It's been happening for like a year-ish now, but it's, it's happening and um, there's nothing that I can do about it. I wanna be happy. I want everyone that's inside of my life to be happy. And even the people that were in my life and are not in my life anymore, I want them to be happy. And it's just, um, it's just life. I always tell every single one of you, enjoy every single day like it's your last because it's, it's the truth, you die by yourself. So do, do whatever you want, go on that vacation, go buy the car, go, go do whatever it is that you want to do because you're only going to live this life one time in this body, you know? And I just couldn't imagine being stuck in a situation or in a life that I was so fucking unhappy with. And I beg whoever is watching this video that has second thoughts in their relationship or their marriage or um, their family or job, whatever the case may be, go change whatever is making you unhappy. Go be great. There is so many things in life that I wish I could have done and it took me till now to finally realize that I, I don't give a shit what anyone has to say about me. I don't care. I'm gonna do what I want now because I wanna be happy. I got these glasses. They're brand new, because I sat on my old ones, but uh, yeah. <coughs> Damn. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking joking, I'm like saliva. <coughs> but that is it. That is what I wanted to share with everybody. Um, Eve is doing fantastic. She is running circles like a mad woman. Um, I'm gonna be putting some spacers on the wheels uh, because it needs to stick out a little bit. I'm thinking maybe like half an inch or maybe an inch. I'm not sure, I gotta really look at it to see. I gotta measure. Um, and I'm gonna drop it a little bit because she's going to be at Tuner Evil July 31st in Philadelphia. If you guys don't, what was that sound? What the hell? I swear the shop makes some strange noises. Anyways, if you guys don't know about Tuner Evo, I will leave the link down below where you guys can go check it out. I will be there with the FRS and the 350Z. So I will be walking around. I don't have a special booth or anything like that. I am just going to be there and I'll be filming. So if you guys do see me, please say hi. I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm bringing any posters or anything like that because I don't really want to get in the way of the actual people that are throwing the show. But I might bring some stuff um, if anyone wants to get some posters or anything signed or whatever. It'd be my pleasure to just give it to you guys. Um, aside from that, the next thing that is happening with the 350Z is you're going to have to watch the next video to find out. Anyways, I'm going to go drag myself to the gym and maybe have a salad. But thank you so much for watching and for understanding. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.